Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Bobby Kirkley. I'm a pastor at Whitehorse Christian Center. And I'm Martha Kirkley, another pastor on staff at Whitehorse Christian Center. Greetings. We are in times now, and our pastor has been teaching us a need to pray. If ever the world needs the world, the church to pray, it is now. And we need to step up in praying. And Jesus left us a great example of prayer. He said in Luke 11, 2, he says these words. He said to them, when we pray, say. And it's so important we follow these rules and regulations that he says because it brings things to us. Here's what he says. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. This is key. It says here, as in heaven, so in earth. As in heaven, so in earth. It's important. It's important to understand because when you think of a kingdom, the things that you need to realize that our God owns everything that's in this world. Psalms 50.10 says, For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hill. He owns everything. But it goes on and says in Luke 12.32, he says, Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's pleasure to give you the kingdom. He desires you to have his kingdom, whatever's going on in the world. His kingdom is not affected whatever is happening in the world. Whatever the stock market says, his kingdom is not affected. It is still coming forth. I want to give you understanding what a kingdom is. A kingdom may be defined as a sovereign rule of a king over a territory or domain, impacting it with his will and purpose. So God is going to impact your world with his will and his purpose. Hallelujah. God wants to impact what is impact. He wants to move in your world, change it to what the kingdom looked like. This is what he's looking for. Also, it says in Luke 17, 20, 21, I'm just going to read 21 for time's sake. It says, neither shall, shall they say, oh here or oh there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you, is living in you. He gave you the kingdom. So you are in the world, but not of the world, because what you receive comes from his kingdom that enters into the world. It's very important. There's some key words to the kingdom. Like for instance, kingdom welfare. It's not the same as we speak of welfare today. Kingdom welfare is balanced, is balanced on the fact of the wealth of the king, whoever it is that rules. And that person who ever rules, it determines how the wealth of his people comes. And so if the king is rich, then the people of them are well taken care of. Well, our king owns everything. The care of the kingdom is responsibility of the king. And so you must realize the fact that he calls it common wealth. Common wealth is another word of the kingdom concept that speaks of the fact that as the king is wealthy and what he has, so does his people also prosper and carry on and be successful. So our success is not based on what our economy says, but it's based on what the kingdom of God says. He says another thing, thy kingdom come. Come means to move or travel to the place where you are. God is saying to you, when you pray, say thy kingdom come. Whatever is in his kingdom comes to the place where you are. And it's important. In heaven, I want you to realize this, in heaven it is already done, it's already finished. So what you're asking for is for heaven to invade with what is already finished to what's on earth that is not finished or look like heaven. That's why I said, as it is in heaven, so let it be on the earth. As heaven has finished, completed, accomplished everything that's needed, let it manifest now through us in the earth and cause what is lacking in our life to change to look like what he desired. This is what God's major heart is. Uh, for us. Heaven wants to invade our unfinished earth with its finished product and cause our unfinished product on earth to begin to look like his finished product in heaven. And so therefore, wherever you at, whatever you're lacking, the kingdom of God desires to invade and produce what heaven has for you. God bless you.
Also in Matthew chapter 6, it speaks of the prayer, the model prayer that Jesus gave the disciples. And so we sing that today. Will you join with me? Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done yes. in earth <laughs> as it is yes. in heaven. <clears throat> Give us this day yes, Lord. our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors yes lord and lead us not into temptation mm -hmm. but deliver us from all evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. God bless you all.